video 11, 12, and 13, there's a lot in here. The overdrive hub, you've got the rear planet, the front planet, the ring gear, the sun gear, and of course there's all kinds of snap rings and seals. Here we have the rear planetary with our parking pole locking ring on it. We didn't have to do anything to this when it comes to sealing or anything. Uh, we showed you earlier to uh, check for play in the bushings and they have side thrust washers. There's no o-rings or seals uh, just all bushings and gears. There's no chips on the gears. Good to double check because you're putting it back together now and you're nearing the end. You want to make sure you do it right. And this one's okay. No overheating. It's not hot. And we're going to install this back in the case with this tapered bearing onto its tapered race. And you remember it had the large nut. This sleeve, this collar here, is to be put here. And it's a spacer. And we'll insert this into the back of the case. And here we have our other tapered bearing. It's simply going to slide into there. The bearing's fine. Sometimes this will slide back out. Slide it back in. Now this is a slight press fit. So we're probably going to have to uh, knock on it just a hair. Let's get it in there all the way. And get the nut on. Now we're going to drive this tapered bearing back onto the shaft. Just enough so we can get some threads in, and that's perfect. Here's our nut. Remember them little locking dimples in it. It's loose at the moment, but it will tighten up. Now we got that started, but we're gonna have to put more turning force on it. So, we're gonna reinstall our parking ball in order to lock this shaft again. Now in case this spring pops off, which they like to do, then this is how it goes. This keeps the park ball from wanting to hang down and put your vehicle in park without you wanting it to. Here's your parking ball mechanism. This pin will go through here, or to the opposite actually. And this pin we've left there because it fit tight. Set it down in there. Like so, this pin goes over that, and this pin goes in the back of this case. And pin up with your hole. That one's in. We'll have to tap in. Tap in our other pin. installed this is how it should look it's, you see it's not locking the, the output shaft everything's fine if the spring were to come off we'd want to the pole would want to come down and lock the output shaft you can now put your retaining bolt into the back of the case for this park ball pin Now we have the little steel plug that went in this staked little pocket. We gotta drive the pin in a little bit more. This on here. Now we're gonna take our little steel plug that hides this pin and insert it back in the case. Take me a little punch. Put it back in there. It's good. I'm gonna restake it.
and we got our nut back on here for this rear planetary it's tight um, next thing we're gonna do lock this back down there's the old locks that we uh, we had to knock off of it to get the nut off uh, once you get this on you can uh, torque it to your specs according to the book or the, the factory manual We got this big nut tightened in the back, we're going to come up front and start reassembling the case inside.